I'm Josh Reese, a fourth year optometry student at the Arizona College of Optometry. And if I were to apply to optometry school today, the first thing I would do is email every single school that I could think of. Now I'll put all of their emails down in the description for you, but the number one thing is that they like it. They have someone who's full time at their school to help recruit students to want to go to their school. And so my favorite email to send is saying, hey, here's my application, here's my GPA, OAT, put everything that you can in there and ask, what advice do you have to make my application a little bit stronger? Now this will do a couple of things for you. It'll help you get a better application because some of their advice is a lot better than any advice I could ever give you. And then the best part about it is that they will remember you. When your application comes up again, when you actually submit it, they will remember, because you established a relationship with them. You had that conversation with them and they'll say, oh yeah, that's that person who's really curious and really good that we emailed back and forth. Now, when I did this, I originally did it because I was a part of the optometry club at my undergrad and we had to you know, correspond with some schools to get them to do webinars and such. But this ended up establishing relationships with some admissions officers and some faculty that was on the admissions committee that really gave me an edge against other people in applying because I had already developed a relationship with the people who are making the decision if I'll be able to go there or not. Now, the next thing I would do is spend as much of my free time with an optometrist as I can. Now, what I want you to do is email every optometry office in your area that you can think of and just say, hey, I'm about to apply to optometry school. Can I come shadow? Can I come intern? Can I set up a call with you? Or can I even just come tour your office right after hours? Now, a lot of optometrists might not be able to do it, but a lot of them will. So just like I want you to email as many of the schools as you can think of, I want you to email as many of the optometry offices as you can think of, because even if you don't end up going there, you can still establish a relationship with that doctor. Personally, this ended up leading me to work with one office as an optician. And then another office that I emailed, I ended up working there as a vision therapist. And when I was applying, it was also during COVID, I set up a lot of phone calls with optometrists that I was able to add as shadowing hours. And so really, just spending as much time with an optometrist as possible will get you not only the shadowing hours to make your application stand out, but an even better letter of recommendation from an optometrist. And it will help you decide what you want to do in your career. And who knows, maybe even set up a future employment opportunity. I actually know a couple of friends who went back and worked for the optometrist that they shadowed. The third thing I would do if I were applying today to optometry school is I would apply early. Now, don't worry, you don't need to have your whole OAT in or letter of recommendation submitted before you submit your application. You can do that a lot sooner. Now, most schools consider, you know, before December to be early, but I would even consider that, you know, the application's open now in July, submit it as soon as you can. The one thing that that does to give you an edge over other applicants is that your application will be on the desk of the admissions committee for longer. Most admission committees meet about once a week to discuss who they want to invite for interviews and eventually who they want to accept. And so if you can get your application on their table for longer, it gives you a higher likelihood of being able to get in because maybe you're not so competitive against the people who applied in July, but you're still going to be on their table when they look at people who are applying in December or even, you know, March, April. And so you give yourself the best shot if you're able to apply early. And there's a few other things that this can do as well. You can even get better housing because more is available if you, you know, get in earlier. And some schools have a first come first serve basis for the scholarships they hand out. So you could save a lot of money by being an early applicant. Now I did this and it was able to take a lot of stress off me during my senior year of college because I knew I was already accepted into a program. It really took some stress off for you know needing to do really well in some of my classes because I already knew that I had a place that I was going and I was able to set everything up. Now the last thing I would do if I was applying to optometry school today is I would keep my options open. I hope if you're watching this video your goal is to become an optometrist and so what keeping your options open means 
is that maybe you don't get into the school that it was your dream school in your hometown, but you end up having to travel across the country to go to another school that might even be a better fit. Your goal is to become an optometrist and every single optometry school can do that. Maybe even if they're not as established as the other ones, but they all give you the same chance. You're giving yourself an opportunity to become an optometrist if you get into an optometry school, even if it's not the one of your dreams. Keeping your options open also means being willing to retake the OAT if you have to and retake it multiple times because sometimes you just learn and grow and it'll help you become a better optometry student, the extra work that you end up putting into the OAT or retaking classes. This also means that if you don't get in the application cycle that you want to, you're willing to do something extra, like go do a year of grad school to do like a medical science degree to boost your GPA and be able to get into optometry school. So I really encourage you to make being an optometrist your goal and doing what it takes to be able to get in. I did this with Arizona College of Optometry. I kept my options open. I really only wanted to go to Memphis at SCO, but I kept my options open and I looked at Arizona, emailed, eventually applied, and it ended up being a really good feel, a really good fit for me. Their academics were there as well, and I could see myself going there. It was maybe a little bit more financially beneficial for me to go to SEO, but I ended up choosing Arizona. My wife ended up being offered a job and they said, but we'll make you move to Phoenix. Is that okay? And it worked out great. But that's my advice. If you're applying to optometry school, what I would do is I would email every single school and set up a relationship with them. I'd reach out to every optometrist in my area and set up a relationship with them. I would apply as early as I could to get my application on their table for as many weeks in a row as I can, and I'd keep my options open. Becoming an optometrist is your goal, so go out there and get it. And we'll see you in the next video.